Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem, we have a square prism of base side 30 mm and axis length 65 mm, which is resting on HP on its base, with all the vertical faces being equally inclined to VP. Also, it is cut by an inclined plane 60 degrees to HP and perpendicular to VP and is passing through a point on the axis at 15 mm from the top face. We need to draw the development of the lower portion of the square prism. So if you look at the problem statement, we can understand that the type of solid here is a square prism. And the resting condition is, it is resting in such a way that all its rectangular faces are equally inclined to VP. So this can happen only if the square prism is resting on one of its corner. Also coming to the cutting plane condition, Incline at an angle of 60 degrees to the HP and is perpendicular to VP. Also, it passes through a point which is 15 mm from the top face. So, with this condition, let us see how to draft the solution for this problem statement. So, let us begin by drawing the XY line and then drawing the initial position of the square prism. So, select a line of thickness 0.18 mm. Draw the XY line. Now, select the line of thickness 0.13 mm. And then let us first construct a square as mentioned in the problem statement that is 30 cross 30. So we have the square and now let us position this square as stated in the problem. So we need to incline this in such a way that all its faces are equally inclined to VP. So select the rotate option select the diagonal any one diagonal of this square and then make the diagonal parallel to the xy line so this completes the top view of the square prism so now let us draw the projection lines The axis is measuring 65 mm, so draw the line of 65 mm length. So here the axis line will be overlapped by the rectangular edge line, so we do not have to show the axis. So let us measure the dimension, so this is 65 mm and each edge is measuring 30 mm. And next condition is the cutting plane, so before we draw the cutting plane, let us annotate the square prism. So let us start from here. So this is the corner A, A1. Followed by the corner B, B1. C, C1. And then we have got the corners D, D1. And next we have got the bottom face of the prism as C1 dash and here the top face as C dash. Also here this is B1 dash and inside the bracket D1 dash which is not visible to the observer and the top face will be the corners B dash and D dash inside the bracket. And here we have got the next condition that is the corner a1 dash and a dash so we are not uh, giving a priority to the axis here in this case because the axis is not uh, considered to be marked on the development so we'll just name the salient corners so now we need to draw the cutting plane so to draw the cutting plane again select the line option so first let us draw a line at a distance of 15 mm from the top face. Go for the smart dimension and then just indicate this length which is equal to 15 mm. So from here the cutting plane is passing through an angle of 60 degrees to the HP. So select the line option, select the cutting plane. So from here draw a line which is inclined to the HP at an angle of 60 degrees. 
so this is the cutting plane so now use the extend to next option and extend this in such a way that it is cutting all the rectangular edges so use the trim option now and trim this part go for the angle between so the angle between this plane is 60 degrees so this is the cutting plane condition so now go for the line option again now select the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and then let us darken all the lines that is intersected by the cutting plane on the rectangular edges so from this edge the bottom face of the prism followed by the point of intersection and the line beneath that so this is the remaining portion of the prism and we need to show the development of this remaining part so now let us go for the annotation so let us tell that the cutting plane is intersecting a1 a dash a1 dash and a dash edge at the point one dash in the front view and similarly we have got b1 dash and b dash intersected by the cutting plane at the point two dash in the front view then we have got c1 dash and c dash so here there is no interaction of the cutting plane with the rectangular edge but however between the edge uh, that is uh, b to c we have got the point as 3 dash and we need to show this point 3 dash on the top view also so that can be done by drawing a line perpendicular downwards and then it is intersecting the edge bc or b1 c1 at the point 3 here So this is the point 3 and these are the points 1, 2 and this is the point 3. And also C and D is also intersected at the point 4 here and that point 4 shall also lie here. So that is 3 dash comma 4 dash. So here itself will be having the point 4 dash. And next you can just see that we have got the edge uh, that is 5 which is beneath this b1 dash and uh, b dash that is d1 dash and d dash is also intersected by the point 5 dash here so let me just enter 2 dash comma 5 dash in the front view so this marks the development the point 5 is here so now let us again redraw the square prism in the top view so let us just try to connect the points so 1 to 2 2 to 3 is this point and then again this entire portion of the prism is cut so it is visible so this completes the top view of the square prism and also to get the points just measure the distance between 2 and 3 and also the distance between 4 and D use the distance between option so you can either measure c to 4 or the distance between d to 4 anything is fine so we'll just take up c to 4 so this is required for the construction so this is the x y line we can also indicate the planes as vp and hp so this completes the first position so in the second part we need to show the development of this remaining portion of the prism so for which we shall draw the base of the cut section of the prism so select a line of thickness 0.13 and then keeping the xy line as the reference just draw the line which is having the length equal to 120 mm because it is four faces each measuring 30 mm and now let us divide this so this is again having a height of 65 mm and each edge shall measure 30 mm so these are the rectangular faces so complete the four rectangular faces measuring 30 cross 65 so now we shall mark the points so this is a1 we can use the capital letters because it is the actual projection of the square prism so this is a1 a and this is b1 and this is b followed by c1 and c d1 and d 
back to a1 and a so now go for the line option again select a line of thickness 0.13 so 0.1 is on the rectangular edge so just draw it as a horizontal projection intersecting this cut section of the square prism and also we have got the point 2 and 5 on b and d respectively so these are the points 2 and 5 so now we need to mark the points 3 and 4 so you can just see that 3 and 4 are not on the corresponding edges so we need to take the measurement so if you just go from b to c i can mark a distance of 12.25 mm so select the line option so from b1 to c1 draw a line of 12.25 so here we'll be having this point 3 and similarly from C to 4 that is on C to D I'll be having a line of 17.75 and then I'll mark the point 4. So go for the annotation and mark all the points. So this is point 1 and then point 1 is here again. Next we have got the point 2 on B1, B next we need to mark the point 3 which is here between b and c and then the point 4 is between c and d this is point 4 and then we have got the final point that is 5 on d1 d so select the line option select a line of thickness 0 0.50 and then connect 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 and then connect the bottom portion of the prism So this completes the development of the square prism. So the lower part of the prism which is left out after the cutting plane has cut the prism at an angle of 60 degrees passing through a point of 15 mm from the axis. So this is the remaining part of the prism. So go for annotation again and then enter development which indicates that this is the development of the square prism after it is cut go for the smart dimension and show the dimension of the base of the prism which is 120 and then the height which is equal to 65 and then just the dimension of any one rectangular face which is equal to 30 mm cross 65 mm so with this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement thank you all for watching